Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garb Experiment Part 3 on Kona So last episode we just got, we we're heading to these other houses we have to explore at the road But we have to go around the road blockage And let's carry on down the road to see if we can, is there, um, yeah this way Right then see where this takes us then shall we and we are at the doctors let's go check this out then shall we oh I've got a fuel can as well in my probably should deposit that a uh, fuel can be a bottle Hardware, 303 ammo box. Nice. Cool. Alright, then let's go see what's at the doctor, shall we? Dr. Birpu's Birpu's Clinic. Number 10. Finding a locked door in the country is not that big of a deal. Carl knew a key had to be hidden nearby. Doctors know medical be emergency in town. Forbidding doctors from falling sick. Medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Okay. Five stars. Where are we going to find this key then? Oh, we've got tracks again. And just disappear over there. Strange. Oh, cool, got a lantern now. Right then. What is this place? Just a shelter? I guess so. Where are we going to find this key then? Please use over door. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Ah, clinically. In spite Not of that Dr. Long. Beaupre's goodwill. The place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. There we go. Oh god. Isabel Pepri. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Matches. got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within these that? miserable walls, patients probably felt more oh like God. in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. Yeah, I wanted the camera to take a picture. Okay. Doctor is apparently fascinated by history. Earth doesn't that look this big from here. Store in a cool, dry place with constant temperature, they said. That's a lot of wine for a doctor. But that's a first aid kit, which is good. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. A communist, communist manifesto. manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? The histories of all hitherto existing society in the history 
of class struggles. Freeman and the slave petition and plebeian lord and serf guildmaster and journeyman. In a word, oppressor and oppressed stood in a constant opposition opposition to one another, carried and uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight and f fight that each time ended either in a revolutionary reconstruction of society at large or in the common ruin of contending classes. In the earlier Apoches, 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 Apoches of history we find almost everywhere a complicated arrangement of society into various orders and manifold graduation of social rank in ancient Rome. We have patricians, knights, plebeians, slaves in the middle ages, feudal lord vessels, guild masters, journeymen, apprentices, serfs in almost all of these classes again subordinate graduations. Okay. Dr. Bolpede had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. And it did, did quite catch her. The men called her Lauren. She had a neck wound. There was so much blood, the bullet had gone, had done a lot of damage, probably hitting the cerebrum. It was hopeless she had a cardiac arrest. The men had found her like this. They said, I doubt it. But in a small town like this, it's usually best to turn a blind eye. I've been told to step back from sending out a, the death certificate. The whole thing is sickening. Okay. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness, captured on cardstock. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Fulbert's specialty. Right, so nothing else really of use in here. I don't think I'm missing anything. So I think we can continue. I think that just goes outside, doesn't it? Them. Let's get back to the car, continue up the road, care had to be taken searching and see of what Everything we can find. The decor itself told the story. Rosaire's house. That's strange, there's smoke coming out of the chimney already. What? Seriously? Expecting strangers to show up here. Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. <rire> C'est vrai, le jeune, que tu te promènes quasiment en bobette. Une bonne pelisse, ça te fera pas de tort. Mais je vais te dire une chose, dans ton coin de pays comme Paris on n'a rien sans rien. Et où, mon caribou? Are you gonna give me a caribou, or...? Vois-tu le livre, là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Et... 
There was a time when he, when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sounds of a rock and a bone breaking was Where enough. Uh, I've lost what I've read now. Uh, the deafening sounds of rock bone breaking was enough to satiate the hate and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balanced, maintained. Then came the whites. The legend. The legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time great cold and great aspirations when the ships came and spewed men and their fire cannons plagued the spinelessness br balance broke forever. The dead were piling up on the ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss. Too much blood spilled on our stone. Our bone breaking heat. It did not suffice any longer. Okay. There's nothing in there. Oh, nice. Ben, oui, une course. Tu peux tu tout faire en même temps, toi? Ben, la Corivo, Batesh, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. A tué tous ces maris. Squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Okay, right, there's nothing really. Trade caribou for the for coat. What's that? Oye, 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 y'a un petit gars d'écarté dans ma maison. Do I have that then? The only about like beer maybe? A beer bottle? Let's take that. Let's try that, shall we? See if that works. It's trying to get shot again. Tu m'amènes un bon galon de caribou puis on devient ami. Sinon, mon petit gars, tu sors avant que je te sorte. No. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, let's inspect round. Have we? See what we can find then. Okay, I don't have the key for that. Fire starters, right. So he wants a caribou for the coat. Right then. Old was there. Should we go to Blovin House next? Let's go to there then. House of the Patriots. Whoa! Got some angle there. Jeez. What a pipe. <laughs> Look at the angle of my barking. Brilliant. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Let's light that fire so we can see what we're doing. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Oof. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Okay, there we go. Caribou. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. 
The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? Okay, nice. At Age Amblouin, seems like that pig had a name after all. Right, so we need to figure out how to make some rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a caravan, okay. so there's that going for him. So we need something and an empty bowl. You had to be out of your mind to cook done. up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Do I have any in empty bowls? Don't think I do. Perfect. Okay, I still don't have question mark. But I have an empty bottle now, although I had two already. Smoky documents. Let's continue searching around outside, maybe. Oh, no. I guess we're following the prince again, then. Oh, there they are. If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. This way. No, I didn't keep that picture, did I? What did I do that for? Where are we going then? Surprised the snow hasn't covered up the prints again, though. There we go. Ah, there. There we go. See the faint prints. There's some more. God. Where are we going? The icy cavern. And the wolves came running out. Seem to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped into bones okay. and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Oh god. Oh god. I need to get back quickly. Cold. Turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. And fast. Come on, we can make it. Come on. So close. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. 
Oh. Okay. Let's just warm up for a minute. I need that. I need those warm clothes. Right. Take some painkillers, get up. Up. Alright then. So what is needed? Cigarettes, not that. What is that ingredient that I don't have? Make that. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Hmm. Yeah, so we need to figure out what makes it. Okay, well let's head on to the next house because I can't do that unless I get those warm clothes by heading into that icy cavern. So let's head on to the next house then, which is down the road some more. the last place on this road. Uh, La Mothu. La Mothi. Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land as a dog is with hydrants. Dear La Mothi, here's the, here's the spark plug you ordered. For your Olympic ski do this model being very popular has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing Garage Oven Fills in Chim Bagma. Sincerely. Okay. So let's take that spark plug then because Ah I've got some in the boot. Draw uh, pinches. We're in. Oh, great, and this ice. with current home improvement trends? Or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? Gamma rays? Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. Perhaps nice. Someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long way. Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Alright, is that a smooth mobile? Carl had a hunch that there had got to be a plan somewhere that could help him put this thing back together. Guess we're going in the house if we can. We can. 
is the fireplace. Let's start the fire. Logs, always logs nearby. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hair dryer. What was Parts it manual. for? Nice. Play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? The suspension has way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. I patched everything, but the tracks, I left them close by. Ski, don't drink and work, don't drink and work, don't drink and work. I'm misspelling part. I'm misplacing parts of the machine. Regine came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon for the most part. We, he helped me chug my bottle down to the last drop. I think we tried to s ski or something. Bad idea. I still haven't found the one ski we lost in the process. Okay. Apparently amounts is a rock collection. All right. Strange. Hmm. Not a lot of really anything else in here. I'll grab this hammer though. Don't know how that can be any of use. Please let follow up on a complaint. At a meat pack. Same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Dear Mr. Lamoth, following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim and legend the sudden appearance of a man who came from outer space on your village ter village's territory manifestry. What happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible regarding future potential complaints. Let it be known that the ju Judicial District of Abitizai does not believe in the little green men. Okay. Strange. Yeah, I haven't got any wood. I have in the boot of my, well, the back of my pickup truck. So let's get some wood. Start this fire, then we can warm up. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. All right. Perfect. Now I can warm up. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hair dryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Um. Is there anything around here? Ah, Philip Gascan. And the gas can is in the boot of my truck. Okay, let's just see what happens when we get close to this front door then again. Oh no. Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? Repair spaceship. Ah, oh, seriously. Let's check out that ice man in a minute. Already got pliers, I don't know why I grabbed another pair. Is that food? Is he living in here? Something isn't right when your bed is in your garage. Yeah. Magazine. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind. For him to still keep this around. Alright then. Potatoes. Handlebars. Nice. What is he doing? 
doing? What is going on? That was strange. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Okay. Right then. Hmm. Strange. Can I use? Uh, no, I keep pressing the button. That's what I want. Uh, inventory. Uh, um, hmm. Equipment. Uh, gun. The shape of this machine, almost straight out of Star Trek, was out of the ordinary to say the least. It felt like this thing could fly up into space at any moment. The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Okay. Alright then. Nothing else in here. I've got no way of getting that bucket down. Still trap not to be touched. Okay. Right then. Oh, I've taken a picture of that. Right. Can we fix this snowmobile? Is it going to work now? By following the plan. Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Place bench. Oh. So I've just got to find the parts. Carlos are always welcome in the world. Monochrome, sorry. Right. So we got the bench. Base handlebars. We need a headlight. Place skis. I had the ski on me, didn't I? Not equipment. Not consumables. Inventory. Yeah, ski mobile. Ski. Uh, I need two, don't I? Place light and handlebars. Okay, so I need a light. Ah, tracks. Place tracks. So we need the light and handlebars and another ski. Right then. the headlight. Alright, so that's the light and handlebars. Okay. So 
So now I just need to find the last remaining ski. Which could be anywhere. Not in the toilet. Okay. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. Another empty bottle. This will steal under there. I need to warm up. Getting too cold. It's a bike. Bike wheel. Duct tape. Okay. Not sure what I need the duct tape Carl for. I wonder how long he would have to endure this thin okay. stinging cold. Yeah. There we go. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Okay. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Secret project. Ice cave. And... Oh, cave. Okay. Right, now that I'm warmed up. Let's find this other ski mobile. I need to figure out how to make that carb boost, carabia stuff. Stealing and road signs is prohibited by law, okay. Green milk for little green men. Ooh. Oh, cool. I can play the spaceship, though. There was an What's indisputable doing? fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Light. I made fine saucer. Life never ceased to amaze me. What good did that actually do? Apart from giving me a headlight that I already have. Fill the room with smoke. I did say something about a secret project, didn't I? Oh, well, that's quite a track away. Let's go for it. I'll probably will get it in a minute when I get too cold. Yeah, actually, this thing, that's not worth it, is it? Yeah, that's way too far to make that, I think. 
I reckon it is going to have to be a snowmobile. Snowmobile. But the parts have got to be around here somewhere. Just where is the question? Well, this truck's not going anywhere. Where were the amputated parts? Carl grinned as he pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere made of parts from, from a dozen different vehicles. Where is this last ski? <laughs> okay. Seems Build like the elements showed mercy to those nice and solid looking planks. Right, so that's how I get there. So I need some hardware. I've got some in the truck. Pretty sure. Could help us find this last ski. I'm pretty sure I've got some hardware in here. Draw. Yep, yeah, hardware, there we go. Alright, let's go build this bridge. Warm up quickly. Build this bridge and see what we can get out of that bucket, shall we? Carl I saw something no in the woods. How to interpret a message like that on the surface. It seemed like he had one half too many of this puzzle. Enough to know he shouldn't take this testimony as possible. The entire thing, being some punishment for a murder committed by Hamilton, seemed like an outlandish theory. Carl was doubtful. I saw something in the woods on the solemn day of October 6th, 1970. No man should ever see. The aliens are here. They're roaming in our woods. They will invade us all from here down to sunny Mexico. They are massive, twice as tall as man. They are half man, half caribou, half wolf. I'm sure the fact that I saw them means they broke their military code. They are after me. If you're reading this, it's too late. I've already been taken to the planet Elm. Elhum. Him to be experimented upon in a lab. They're punishing me for not doing anything when I witnessed that murder yesterday when I saw William Hampton kill someone. Farewell. Is that it? Come up on this roof for that. Still don't have the ski. Hmm. Where can it be? I expect it's somewhere really obvious, but I just don't know. Ah. I found one out here, just there. I'm going to leave that episode there guys, if you enjoyed that episode don't forget to hit that like button, if you're new around it don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new episode. Next episode we shall try and find the ski, wherever it may be, just for some reason I cannot find it for the life of me, I expect it's somewhere nice, obvious, not in the bag, okay, well. Thanks guys for watching.